Hey, this is Sound of Sheep, and this is my tutorial on how you can join my Minecraft survival server for my Discord community. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down into the description, and there's a link to join my Discord. And what you're going to do is you're going to spend some time the next few days, I'd say at least like five days, you know, getting to know everyone, introducing yourself maybe in the introductions channel, talking to others in the general or even the really scuffed memes channel that we have. But basically just get to know everyone in the community and make yourself well known. You don't have to be super talkative. You just have to be, you just have to have at least a small presence and, you know, become part of the community. We'd love to have you. We have a really nice community in my opinion. I think, I mean, I've gotten really lucky. I've had amazing people join the discord and just my community in general and i hope you can be one of those people as well that's the idea behind the minecraft server is to bring everyone together so what you're going to do after a few days of being on the server like i said probably at least five days i would say give or take and what you're going to do is you are going to direct message one of my amazing community managers on the discord you're going you're going to direct message them and say that you are interested in joining the meadow the flox minecraft server and what they're going to do is they're going to look at your activity on the discord make sure you're active make sure you've been around for at least a couple days and then they'll approve or deny you and if you get approved then you're going to be able to join the server obviously if you get denied you just got to try again in, in the next few days give it some more time and then eventually they'll say yes now congratulations you've been approved to join the server what we're going to do next is go over connecting to it for real. So if you're on Java, this is a Java server technically, but like I said, it is cross-platform between Bedrock and Java Edition. If you're on Java, it's really simple. Once you get the IP, you just add the server and then you type in the IP address like you would do for any Minecraft server and then you just connect once you've been whitelisted. Now for Bedrock, if you're playing on a computer, it's a really simple process. You just add the server as a new server and you put in the IP address that will give you. But if you're playing on any other platform, it gets a little more complicated. I'm going to link the tutorials down in the description of the video so you can follow the tutorial for the platform that you are playing on. But if you need any help, please feel free to reach out to me or my mods and we'd be more than happy to help you. Now that we've gone over actually connecting to the server, I want to talk about some of the features that you can find on the Meadow. The first one being a tie-in between the Discord and the server itself. So what I have here is this one text channel called In-Game and Discord. Now this is a text channel that is connected between the server's chat and the Discord text channel right here. So if we say something like, hey, how are you doing? On the Discord, that's me right there, sound of sheep, and we go back in game, we can see that the message pops up in game. Discord, Shepherd, sound of sheep, hey, how you doing? And then I can respond pretty <laughs> well. How about you? And that is in game. And then if we go back to the Discord, we see that it pops up here as well under Robo Ram. It says the player's username, their rank, and the message right there. While we're on the Discord, I wanted to point out this other text channel called Event Ideas under the MC Server category. Now the mods and I are gonna be coming up with our own ideas for events to have on the server, but we also wanna hear, of course, what you guys wanna do. You guys can tell us in this text channel your ideas, give us feedback, maybe even beyond events, you can tell us what you'd like to see on the server and so on and so on, because we wanna make this the best experience for you. So now we're gonna go over some plugins that are actually on the server that are, I think are pretty cool, as well as some events that we are planning for the server. So the first thing I wanna go over, really small thing that I think is really fun, of course, is the stairs or chairs plugin. Basically, you can sit down in any stair as long as it has signs on the side, like this one does, making a little chair, or it is surrounded by two corner stairs like this one. So next I'm going to go over the custom images plugin that we have installed on the server. 
If you do the command slash to map space followed by the URL to an image, it will render a splatter map for you. And what you can do is you can look at the proportions. For this one, it says a splatter map of eight by six. And what you do is you walk up to a wall with the item frames on it of an eight by six for this example. And you right click and it will load the whole image on the wall for you. And what you can do is you can also shift click, shift right click or shift left click, shift left click the image again, and it will get rid of the entire thing. Now, I don't really like how it looks with the item frames around it. So I'm going to redo that command. I'm going to do to map, put the URL space after the URL, and I'm going to put resize hyphen covered space eight, six. These are the proportions of the image. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to render and give me a new map. This one is a covered version. And if I do this, get rid of that one, and we put up the new covered version, it'll fill up the whole space instead of leaving the edges out, which I like the look of a lot more. So unfortunately, if you're joining from Bedrock Edition, no matter what platform you're playing on, when you join, you won't have your skin. And right now, obviously, I have mine because I am playing on Java Edition, but you will be either a Steve or an Alex. But we have installed a plugin where anyone can change their skin from the server. And you do the command right here. You do skin URL. And then just like the image map plugin, what you're going to do is you're going to put in the URL for a Minecraft skin. It can be any skin and you are going to run the command. And then it is going to change your skin. You can basically switch to whatever skin you want at any time you want on the server, but you can also switch to other players' skins by running the command I just wrote backslash skins. This GUI pops up and you can click on any of the players who are currently registered on the server and switch to their own skin. For example, I'm gonna to switch to one of my mods right now and now i'm using his skin so one of the plugins that we have on the server is called better sleeping and basically what it does is it makes it so we don't have to have all of the players in bed at the same time so if bronson my mod right now gets into the bed it'll skip to daytime even though i'm not sleeping as well does this cool animation the moon goes over there and it disappears and then it's daytime again. So only a portion of the server actually has to be sleeping in order for it to skip over the nighttime. So one of the ways we're going to keep the server interesting is by doing events every month. And one of those monthly events is going to be a purge at the end of the month where all of the rules are off except for a slight few. And you can go around, you can grief, you can blow things up, you can kill players. And then at the end of the day, we're going to reset the server to the way it was before the purge started. But whoever does the most destruction and shares it on the Discord, shares screenshots of it on the Discord, will get a monthly purge king or queen role for the rest of the month until there is a new one. So this is going to be your opportunity for a whole 24 hours to just go around and do whatever you want. Now, this isn't really an event on the server. This is more of just something I'm going to have going on consistently on the server. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a library, Sheep's Library. And once it is built, you can write books and donate them to the library where they will be permanently archived. I'm going to have a whole Dewey Decimal System sorted out so we can organize everybody's books. But what I'm going to do is every now and then, when I have enough books, I'm going to read them on stream. If you don't know me, I make reading videos and I do reading live streams over on Twitch twice a week. And I thought it would be fun to feature the books that you write on the server on my reading live streams occasionally. That being said, that being said, these books that you write can be literally anything, right? It can be a poem. It can be a story. It could be lore that you made for the server. It could be a journal of what you've done on the server. It can, it can even be a journal of what you've done in real life. I don't mind. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read them in a nice chill space every now and then on stream, such as this beautiful novel written by Bronson Boy here, my mod called Sheep's Disgust. It'll be real fun. It'll be real chill. And I'll get to feature your work from the server, such as Sheep's Disgust by my mod. And just to give you a list of some of the events that we have planned for the future, we have Turf Wars, Capture the Flag, Treasure Hunt, Build Competitions, Redstone Competitions, a big Where's Waldo event. And I think they're going to be pretty fun. And of course, like I said earlier, make sure you also recommend your own event ideas for what you'd like to do as a community on the server. So that is basically a complete walkthrough of how you can join the Flocks Minecraft server, The Meadow, and the features that are on the server. Now, about the events, by the way, the events, if you ever need more information, you can always message a community manager, a mod, or even myself on the Discord. We'd love to help you. And we want to make this experience as fun as it possibly can be for you. I really hope you enjoy the flock. I hope you enjoy the Discord, the Minecraft server, and most importantly, of course, the community. And I hope to talk to you soon. And I don't know what else there is to say, but peace.